What is going on Halo fans, Luke the Notable here, and today I'm going to be talking about Assault Rifle Tips. This was a suggested video down in the comments, so if you want to see anything else, just comment down there. I read all my comments. So before we start, let's just talk about something a little interesting. In Halo 3, a lot of tips out there were, hey, get good at the battle rifle because it's the best gun in the game. But in Halo 5, that is completely different. Every gun has its own ups and downs and is good in certain situations. Now, if your KD is low in Halo 5, one of the easiest ways you can bring it up a little bit is use the easy to use guns like the assault rifle, SMG, storm rifle, whatever, the automatics. They're incredibly easy to use in Halo 5 if you know how to use them. The gameplay in the background is going to be some big team battle gameplay where I got 26 kills using only the assault rifle and melee. So even though you play on giant maps doesn't mean that the assault rifle is a gun that is completely obsolete. Using the assault rifle, you have to make sure that you stay in close quarters situations. Just a quick burst with a, the assault rifle and a melee a lot of times will get you a kill. Also, if you use the assault rifle, you're going to prey on guys like this. Guys that run into close quarters engagements using a battle rifle. Nine times out of ten, if you know what you're doing with an assault rifle, the guy that is running into a close quarters engagement with a battle rifle is always going to die to your powerful assault rifle. So on maps like Big Team Battle, you want to kind of stay in the shadows, hide, crouch, crouch walk, try to ambush people, come up from behind, or even just make sure that you're fighting them in close quarters. If someone is a little bit farther than you're comfortable with when using the assault rifle, one of the best moves you can do is use your thruster pack to close the gap. This might put you in melee range, but it also puts you closer to the enemy, and if they're using a precision weapon, the closer someone is, the harder it is to hit them. That's because a lot of times people with precision weapons panic in close quarter situations, so if you can force them to panic by getting up in their face, that's something you want to do. Now at a little bit longer range, I do recommend using the assault rifle. Sometimes you can get pretty long kills with this thing, especially if you're in an assist situation or someone doesn't see you. You can burst fire from a long way away, and what that will do is it will allow the other player to not be able to use their scope, and sometimes you can even kill a player that has a battle rifle that is at very long range using an assault rifle. Because of this, I recommend that everyone use a controller layout that has aim down sight on the left trigger. So you you can quickly pull up your scope whenever you need it. I know it may feel like Call of Duty, but just because you're aiming down the sights with the left's trigger doesn't mean that you're not a Halo fan or that you love Call of Duty. Seriously, I've been doing it for forever. Proximity does it. A lot of other YouTubers do it. It just feels more comfortable. It increases your range and it makes you better, especially at the assault rifle. Crouching will also increase your effective range with the assault rifle, so you can use this if you need to use it at longer ranges. But you should probably just whip out your pistol or battle rifle at this point. I only was using it at longer ranges in the video because I wanted to prove a point. One other important thing to note, and this is something that's going to allow you to win a lot of 1v1 assault rifle battles, is the assault rifle has a small increase in damage when the other player is no shields and you shoot at the head. There is no damage increase when there are full shields up, but once someone's shields go down, a headshot with the assault rifle does have increased damage, meaning you can kill someone in a bullet or two faster which can mean life or death in certain assault rifle engagements. So if you're going 1v1 with someone with an assault rifle or even an SMG, what you want to do is just shoot them as much as you can, and then once you see those shields pop, try to put bullets into their head. This is something I did a lot in Free For All, and it ended up getting me the kill a lot of times. Speaking more about position, one thing you don't want to do is get caught out in the open. A lot of times if you get shot first with a longer range weapon, it's very hard to get your scope up with the assault rifle and reverse the kill. The assault rifle is primarily a close range weapon and it can be used at medium, sometimes even long range, but it's best in close. And if someone engages you first in a medium range encounter, especially if they have a battle rifle or a pistol, you're gonna die. So stay in cover, stay in the shadows, only pop out when you need to. And I'm not trying to say in this video that the assault rifle is something that you need to use for every engagement, but if you're a bad player, if you can't get kills using the pistol or the battle rifle, you can play the game in that close range engagements. You can only use those engagements and you can get a lot of kills. I was able to get 26 kills in this big team battle game. And yes, I'm a really good player, but just keeping to this mantra of trying to stay in close quarters, playing defense, ambushing people, I was able to get 26 kills and only 13 deaths. Also, the assault rifle can teach you to maintain your accuracy on a target. This is something I talked about in my essential tips and tricks video for Halo 5. The first step to getting good in Halo 5, like I said in that essential tips video is to use the assault rifle because it allows you to maintain accuracy on your target which is one of the most important aspects of precision pistol BR battles. 
Now in a video Halo follower did, he talked about burst firing the assault rifle, and technically if you time it correctly, it is just as fast as spraying with the assault rifle and it can give you some more accuracy. The problem is if you don't time it right, you can miss out on some bullets and the other player can get the kill. My recommendation is in close range encounters where you're probably not going to be missing anyway, always pull down the trigger all the way, spray and pray, but at long range encounters, burst fire away. To close out this video, I just want to hammer home the point that the assault rifle needs to work for you. You don't have to work for it. Get to the best positions with it, and then you'll be able to get tons of kills with it. This gun isn't good in all situations, but it's a very easy gun for new players or just players that aren't very good at the game. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay notable, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.